guys, Rev and Evan. I'm back up here in Michigan with my man Brian Wolf. As you can see, his awesome dino room is ready to go. Sitting on the dino, the 7.3 Godzilla that we've been all waiting to see run. Now we ran a stock motor before, so we saw that in a previous video. This motor is actually a built motor, but it's not built NA, even though it's got an NA intake on it. This is actually built um, for Brian's blower motor. But first we're gonna run an NA. Why are we doing that, Brian? Yeah, hey, we're just gonna run an NA to put some heat in the motor. I'm gonna take it apart, do some inspection since there's a lot of new stuff in there before we put the blower on. But I tell you what, this bad lad's ready to go, so I'm gonna go make some steam. Dude, that was insane. This thing made just shy of seven or 790 horsepower. Yeah, it sure did, 790. 790. So take me through this motor because this is clearly not a stock engine as far as it's got stock head block, but this thing is a big departure from the engine that you did previously. So tell us about it. Yeah, sure. This thing starts off with a billet intake by Visitor that is basically set up for engine development on the dyno. Um, again, this engine is set up and designed to run with a 3 liter Whipple blower. But because I do have some new stuff in it, including Jessel Keyed, Lifters, Charlie Westcott Mechanical Roller Cam, um, Aftermarket Pistons by Wiseco, MGP Aluminum Rods, there's a lot of stuff that's new in there and we haven't done it. So I, we wanted to just run it, naturally aspirate it, put some heat in it, I'm going to take it apart, inspect it, put it back together before we put the blower on it. But if you talk about what's in this engine, what to me is pretty, which I'm really happy with, is these are stock four castings, the cylinder heads. The valves are in the stock locations. There's zero welding done on these heads, but the are CNC ported, the are titanium valves. Right. It has a Visner rocker system with Matten rocker arms on it, trend push rods. Um, again, I talked about the pistons are 12 and a half to one, aluminum rods. But from there, it's a stock block stock timing chain, stock oil pan, stock oil pump, uh, spun the thing to 7600, you know, everything stayed together, people were making <laughs> comments like, boy, that chain for the oil system doesn't look too good. Right. So, you know, we're excited about what we saw so far, but I'm more excited once we get it apart, make sure everything's as good as we think it is. Right, so, obviously this is a Ford production throttle body. What are we breathing through here? Yeah, this is a 90 millimeter throttle body. I believe it came off a GT350, but to be frank, I'm not sure. Right. Uh, but it is an electronic throttle body uh, that, that is production. Obviously, when we're flowing with this flows, we like a lot bigger throttle body. So right. the thing I'm really optimistic about is if we try to do an engine for a kind of max effort NA, right. you know, it wouldn't have softened chambers in it to slow the burn rate down that we do with the um, uh, and with the boosted motors. Right. Um, we would be doing other things too. We'd be up around 15 and a half or 16 to 1. I'd have significantly different cam events. We'd have the dry sump oil system on it, uh, vacuum pumps. I mean, right. I think this thing could make, you know, 900 horsepower isn't on the question in my mind, naturally aspirated. With stock head castings, that ain't bad. Right, so like you mentioned earlier, this has a tight ring package. It's only 12 to 1 compression. It's really a blower motor bottom end, right? It's really robust. You don't want to have boost leakage or blow by because of the, you know, obviously the increased cylinder pressure. So there are things, if you were building this for just motor, you could loosen the ring package, you could bump the compression, you could do some things with the combustion chambers. And how much power do you think one of these things would make? You know, we, again, we made, you know, seven, 790. Um, if we play with the calibration a bit, you know, we might get 800. But again, that's with uh, C16 fuel, which is a slow burning fuel. Right. Um, if we put Q in it, Q16, 
bumped the compression ratio, put the right cam in it, had the dry sump oil system with a vacuum uh, pump on it that's built into the daily uh, oil system. Right. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking, and, and a right size throttle body, you know, I, my target, my personal target, if I was to build that motor, would be 900. 900. So this being a, we'll call it a blower long block with the compression level and like you said, the piston type and things like that. Swapping this out and going to the Whipple, what do you anticipate? You know, I always, you know, I just told you what I, I, I think the 900, what we would do in Nashville Aspirated. If we're going to run an Ultra Street, um, slash Extreme Street if you're NMCA, you know, if we don't make 1550 to 1650, I don't think we'd be a player. So my goal has to be at least to be in that 1600 horsepower range if we're going to be able to be competitive with uh, the guys that are running there now. That's awesome. That's going to be, that's going to be cool. Um, all right. Well, what do you say we go back to the dyno? Well, we're in the dyno room, but we, we go back to the bench and uh, maybe give these, uh, give everybody another pull or two just so they can hear this thing run. Sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Let's make a couple more pulls. Okay. Let's make some tunes. All right. Thanks for checking out our latest video, the 7.3 Godzilla NA, sick power, 790 horsepower. Brian, thanks for having us up here. I had a great time. Hey, thanks. Can't wait to have you come back again, but wait, before you go, there's one more thing we should show everybody. Why don't you take a step back? So what we have here is a 3-liter Whipple supercharger that's designed specifically to go on the Godzilla. This is the exact supercharger that we're going to be running on our Fox Body Mustang on this engine. And hopefully we'll have data within four to five weeks back on Revan Evans' channel. Man, so one more question for you, Brian. This thing, it fits. Look at this. It's a direct bolt-on. We drop this thing right on. Um, if somebody's doing a 7.3 swap, will, will they be able to get their hands on a blower like this? Absolutely. Yeah, Whipple's designed and engineered a kit that fits in the 2020 Super Duties with the 7.3. Right. And that's going to be available very, very shortly uh, this early this fall, I believe. Wow. So if you want to get your 7.3, Brian, I know you're itching to do these for customers, right? I mean, you're pretty much ready to go. Absolutely. Just uh, PM me on Facebook and uh, let me know what, you, what you're thinking and we'll see if you can work something out for you. Awesome. So thanks for checking out the Rev and Evan channel. More 7.3 content coming your way. Make sure you come back, subscribe, hit the like button, drop a comment. You are not going to want to miss this thing with the blower on it. Over a thousand horsepower. We're anticipating big numbers. Brian, thank you so much. Thanks for coming up. Look forward to next time, Evan. Thanks a lot.